This is my 1953 Ford Pop. It may look like just an ordinary Pop, but under the skin there's been a lot of modifications. The car started off as just a standard Pop. It was brought up from the Docklands about four years ago. The guy that built it, Mick Stott, was meticulous in his detail. The whole car was taken apart, the body tub was modified, a new roof section was put in and a new floor was put in and the bulkhead at the front was heavily modified to accommodate the 5 litre Mustang V8 engine that it's running. The chassis is an AC Cobra with coilover suspension, it runs a Jag rear end and a Jag front end. The spec on it, well it's putting out about 350 brake horse. The nice thing for me, it's an old car but it's a new car. Everything on this car has been rebuilt, modified or is new and replaced. Even the interior has been retrimmed in Connolly leather with Wilton carpets. When Mick built this car, money wasn't an object. It wasn't a thing about cutting corners. Every single nice piece that you could get was put on. For example, the racing rocket covers, um, the Mallory electronic ignition so that it's always going to run properly and not have any problems starting. Even the racing radiator, all aluminium, with its own thermostat on there so you can control the temperature of the coolant in there. The stainless steel exhaust, which is a complete one-off fabrication uh, with trick valves in there so you can open it and close it to make the exhaust loud or quiet. Really, really nice touches. These split rim wheels made by Image are really, really rare and quite sought after. In terms of quality, they're about the best you can get. Cars like this are a lifestyle choice. They identify who you are. It's more than just a, you know, an A to B of transport, as some would say. 